hello youtube and welcome to another windows tutorial so in this video i will show you how to install firebird in windows so are you ready let's get started so as you may know firebird is a very interesting database management system it actually exists on different platform linux mac os and also windows it's actually a clone of interbase okay but here we are interested in how to install it in windows so first thing first we go to our google here search engine and we type firebird okay so the first link here that we have is thirdpartsql.org so we're gonna log on to this website here and go to the download section as you can see so here we have actually some server packages so we have version 3.0 and 4.0 which is the recent one it was released on the 1st of june 2021 so let's download this version here 4.0 and see what we get so here you can see the different platform that we're gonna actually install this uh, Firebird server. So we choose our Windows 64 bit, okay? Because we have 64 bit Windows here, okay? So as you can see here, we have an exec file. It's about 17 megabytes, so it's quite small so let's download it and install it to see how we are going to deal with it okay so here we wait for the download file to be completely downloaded okay and we're gonna install it here on windows so now the file has completely downloaded so let's open it and see the different screen that we get okay here we go so we choose english okay so here is the license agreement so i will accept the license agreement here we go we go next next and this is the path that we're gonna install our Firebird server. Here we go. So of course here we choose the full installation of server and development tools. So we have some server component and developer and admin tools components. And we go next. We can also create start menu folder. Here we go. And here we have to select additional tasks so for example run firebird in super server mode okay we can choose to run it as an application or as a service so here we'll stick with the default so we will run it as a service and we go next so this is an important part here we create a password for database system administrator so here we have to choose this is the ba because it's the default admin for our database here we have to choose a password so by default we have to choose master key so you can choose whatever you want but here a lot of people use master key as a password so let's type our master key because it's the default one used in many platforms and now the installation is actually here completed so we go next so the final step here for completing the firebird setup wizard is to start firebird service now after installation what's next lol so let's click on finish and of course here we have we are redirected to this uh, 
community page for the documentation but for us it doesn't matter so now in order to deal with this Firebird installation let's install a GUI a GUI to interact with this Firebird database so the best one that I can advise you is called Flame Robin so let's go once again to our Google Chrome here and type Flame Robin here we go so the first link is flamerobin.org and here is it what is flame robin so flame robin is a database administration tool for firebird or national database management system so the goal of this tool is actually it's lightweight small footprint fast execution cross platform it works on linux windows mac os freebsd and solaris so let's download it and see how we can work with it so we go to the download section here and we can choose whatever snapshot we want so let's choose 0.9.3.9 okay and you can see here the file that you can download for setup it's actually also pretty small it's about 3 megabytes so let's download the 64 version of it here we go and let's open it and install it okay so of course the license agreement so I accept the agreement we go next we go next and this is the path where we can actually install our program let's hit next and of course we can select start menu folder to install it we create also a desktop shortcut and a quick launch shortcut also if you want so let's install this here we go and we can of course launch it and I don't want to show the release notes here we go so this is the configuration of file not found because we start with an empty uh, file actually this is normal for the first time users you may now register new server and database here we go so this is our tool here called flame robin database admin so by default it's on the local host node so we can start creating our first database if you want so all you have to do is to right click here on this local host and create a new database and we can here choose a display name so let's call it for example sales database sales DP if you want and here is the folder for the database path so we can install it whatever you want so let's choose to install it in the document folder for example and let's name it uh, sales db okay so to be consistent with the display name so sales db and let's open it so by default it affects the fdb f for firebird and db for database as an extension for our database and of course here we can actually use authentication so we can use saved user name and password so we can of course assign it to the sysdba if you want so let's sysdba as username for our database and for the password we can choose also the master key as we have done in the first installation and we hit create and now as you can see it has created a brand new database called sales db so now let's connect actually to this sales db so we right click on sales db and we 
hit on connect and here we go so you can see that our empty database has many objects it has database triggers it has ddl triggers domains exception function generators indices packages procedures roles and also it has some system things like system roles okay we have system packages we have system tables also so it is we have almost 54 system table okay and we have also some system domains but the most interesting things for us is this table here objects so here we can start up creating our objects or tables actually so let's right click on this tables object and create a brand new table so what's cool about this uh, tool called flame robber flame robin is actually it gives us the structure in sql of our uh, syntax to create a table okay so here you can see create table table name we have the columns we have the different uh, things that we can use in order to create our table so I will delete all this one and let's create our own table so I will create table we'll call it uh, for example cells okay and this table has actually a column id column which is uh, var char so here you can see that they have intel sense it gives us some tips how to choose for example the variables so let's choose as var char 10 okay so not null because it will be used as our primary key Okay, so let's add another column, for example, uh, item, item, which is var char, let's make it 30, okay, and also it's gonna be not null, okay, and finally, we can add a description which will be varchar for example 50 and we are done with our table here we go so here this button you can execute your statement here so here it gives us the total execution time and we have no error which is good things here and we can hit this button here to commit our transaction so let's click on this uh, sign here this green sign in order to commit okay and now as you can see we have here created our table which is cells okay and here you can see the different columns that contain that our table contains okay we can also do whatever things that we want for our object here okay so we can browse data we can generate code for example let's add some uh, some records in our table here cells so our right click on cells I will go to generate code and here you can see that I have the different uh, SQL syntax that I can use in order to interact with our table so I want to insert some records so I will hit here insert into cells some values so here we go so insert into ID item description and some values so for example let's add as uh, id 001 item as i have seen apples for example produced 
produced in Germany. Okay. So I will hit here our execute button and always the commit button after. Okay. I can add another item, for example, two here. Let's make it some oranges oranges and produce it in France for example here we go execute and commit let's add a third item here for example coffee this time coffee and produce it in Brazil Brazil okay Okay, so we have inserted actually a total of three records. So in order to see them, we can simply browse our data and we get here another window that has the SQL syntax. And here is the table with our items that we have added. And we have here some statistics about what we have done so far. So you can see this tool called flame rubber is pretty interesting it allows us to insert records it gives us actually description in sql language which is also the language used if you are used to work with the mysql or mariadb or postgres okay databases okay so that was just a brief introduction how to install Firebird in Windows and how to use this uh, GUI called Flame Robin in order to interact with our database, Firebird database. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.